This is my story. It's the usual thing. Boy meets girl. Boy loses girl. Boy meets another girl. Well, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't think my life is all flowers and romance, though. I wish. More and more, my life is spent out here, fighting some of the worst the city has to offer. Sometimes it's just a mugger. Sometimes it's a bigger problem. This is the city I protect, New York City. It's my home, my playground, my responsibility. Ah, and this is Mary Jane, the girl next door, the girl I love. But love is a tricky thing when you live part of your life behind a mask. Fate handed me amazing powers, and I made a promise to use those powers to help people with great power comes great responsibility. No matter how much I might wish things were different, there's only one Spider-Man. Come on! <laughs> the city's been quiet lately. Maybe my luck's finally changing. Isn't it beautiful, Rosie? This will be my gift to the world. Unlimited energy. The power of a sun harnessed for the good of all mankind. Don't forget the good of Otto. Eat something. The world will still be here in half an hour. Dr. Connors. Peter. I'm sorry for missing class. I was on my way, but... Peter, I don't want to hear excuses. You have a keen scientific mind, but your grades are slipping. You miss class half the time, and when you do show up, you're asleep in your seat. Yes, Dr. Connors. I understand. Have you started your paper on Dr. Octavius yet? He's a good friend of mine, so you'd better know what you're talking about. Uh... Well, I've been thinking about it. <sighs> thinking isn't your problem. But that paper isn't going to write itself, Peter. And if you don't get your act together, you're in serious danger of failing this class. I know, Dr. Connors. I'll pull things together. I promise. I hope so. I'll see you in class. Peter, you made it. Happy birthday. Hey, buddy. MJ and I had a bet going on whether you would actually show up. Thanks, Harry. Hey, MJ. I'm almost afraid to ask, but who won the bet? I did, of course. Okay, Harry, pay up. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you sleeping all right, Pete? You look beat. Just some late nights. Still palling around with that murdering bug? Harry, I know you think Spider-Man killed your dad. He did kill my dad. Someday I'll get him for it, too. Tell him that next time you see him. Yeah, uh, well... Hey, congratulations on those billboards, MJ. Oh, thanks. Um, it's so unexpected. Everything's happening at once. The billboards, the play, which you have to come see, by the way. I'll get you a ticket for your birthday. Can you swing by later and pick it up? Huh? Oh, <laughs> swing by, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, I promise I'll go. So, uh, what's up at Oscorp lately? I I'm heading up special projects now. We've been providing funding and tritium for one of your heroes, Dr. Octavius. You want to meet him? Do I? That would be great, Harry. I'll set everything up then. Hey, come on, let's eat. Man, that cake was good. I'm stuffed. I'd better burn off some calories or I won't fit in my costume anymore. 
can't even remember the last time I saw Harry and Mary Jane. MJ's been busy with acting. Harry's got Oscorp. Well, who am I kidding? I haven't seen them because I can't make time. Harry and MJ have really tried to be good friends. And I keep brushing them off. Sorry, I'm running a little late, MJ. I've gotten used to it. It was great seeing you and Harry again the other night. Yeah. Anyway, I brought you the ticket from my play. Peter, I think you should know. I'm seeing someone now. A guy. Oh. Really? Huh. Really? Is that all you have to say? Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I have to go. Of course you do. I'm really sorry, MJ. I really want to talk more. I'll call you. Yeah. Sure. I can't believe I ran off like that. I must be out of my mind. <clears throat> Time to wrap this party up. Sorry, gentlemen, but the gallery's closed. Uh, oh! You don't strike me as the patron of the art, material. This may not be art, but I like it. <laughs> Who? got nice moves for a dork in tights. Are these yours? <laughs> Please. Wait! So, skin tight leather. Doesn't that kind of chafe? You'll never find out, that's for sure. Why don't you go chase an ambulance or something? Whatever it is you do. I would, but it infringes on lawyer man's turf. And you wouldn't believe how ticked he gets. You always chase girls who brush you off? No. Only the naughty ones. I have standards, after all. Standard is the word. And here I was expecting... amazing. Hey! Yep. Got away with the ladies, Spidey. Mr. Smooth. That girl was pretty incredible. Too bad she's probably a crook. Hi, Pete. Pictures for the boss? Actually, I'm hoping he might have an assignment for me. Well, he's in a pretty good mood today. Maybe you'll get lucky. Go ahead in. Finally! Someone who hasn't been bamboozled by that media-grabbing glory seeker, Spider-Man. This Quentin Beck's a special effects guy from Hollywood. Says he's got Spider-Man all figured out. Sounds like a media-grabbing glory seeker to me. Oh, Parker. I don't pay you for your opinion, Parker. I pay you for photos. Well, I... Let me guess. You don't have any pictures, do you? Uh... You're fired. Come back when you get me shots of that red and blue wacko. I think that's the third time JJ's fired me this week. Peter. Is everything going okay? Hey, Robbie. Jonah beating you up again? <laughs> don't mind him. Listen, I have a job you could do for me. We need a picture for a story. I want a high shot of the whole city. Here, if you have a map handy, I'll mark where I'd like you to take the picture. Can you get it for me? Sure thing, Robbie. I'll be back before you know it. Thanks. Oh, this is great, Peter. I knew I could count on you. Take these photos to Jonah, and if you're ever having any trouble getting work from him, you come talk to me. 
You never know what I might have for you. Thanks, Robbie. I will. Hi, Pete. How are you doing today? Hi, Betty. I'm okay. Is Mr. Jameson around? Sure. Go on in. What do you want, Parker? Robbie said... Give me those. What is this garbage? Why are you bringing me shots of the city and not shots of Spider-Man? This is the sorriest excuse for... Oh, wait a second. Robbie wanted these, didn't he? Yeah, they're fine. Now get out of my office. Explosion. Better check it out. Let's get out of here. Rano, get that equipment back to base, understood? Spider-Man, huh? Finally, I've been dying to see what you can do. Let's go. Ah, just try to break through my armor. <laughs> I'm gonna break your bones and make you cry for your mama. Rhino, I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're strong but dumb. Get it up! Messing around. That where you are by using your head, I see. Oh no, the boss is gonna kill me. Sorry to leave you hanging, Rhino, but I don't want to be accused of poaching. I think the police should be able to handle you at this point. Have fun. <laughs> You're pretty tough for such a scrawny little guy. Harry! It's about time you got here. Otto's a busy man, and I don't want to keep him waiting. Sorry, Harry. Never mind, let's go. Whoa. Harry, it's good to see you again. Otto, your guests are here. Harry? Right. Otto, Rose, let me introduce my good friend, Peter Parker. It's a huge honor to meet you. Parker? Hmm. My friend Dr. Connors told me about a brilliant student of his named Parker, who can't seem to stay awake in class. <laughs> I'm sure Kurt has beaten him up enough already, Otto. You're right, of course. This is my wife, Rosie, without whom I would be lost. She is my assistant and inspiration. Come and take a look at my masterpiece. There it is. Sustained fusion has never been possible before. Why? Well, once the reaction reaches a certain point, it becomes impossible to contain and control it. Exactly. Until now. Using tritium in the core, provided exclusively by Oscorp. Yes, of course. As I was saying, tritium in the core lends the reaction more stability. And these arms are the key. Amazing. How do they work? Well, you see, Peter, we don't want to keep Otto from his work. Uh, in that case, Peter, won't you join us for dinner next time you visit? I'm sure Otto would be happy to explain more then. I would love to. Thanks. See you then. I can't believe I actually got to meet Dr. Otto Octavius. Uh-oh. Guess I'd better check out that alarm. I'd know that silhouette anywhere. I'd better catch her. back there. It would be better if you slowed down a bit. <sighs> Not bad. I actually had to push myself this time. Hand over those jewels you took. <laughs> jewels? I saw you leaving that jewelry store. You know, the one with the alarm blasting. <laughs> I don't have any jewels. Wait. What's your name? Me? I'm Black Cat, and I just crossed your path. Now, if you'll excuse me. Whoa, Black Cat, huh? Black Cat seems okay. Maybe a little bit of an attitude. Though. I 
I wonder if there's a Mr. Black Ah, uh, what am I thinking? Peter, I guess you're running late. Or else you thought we were meeting at the movies. Anyway, the movie's starting soon, and I don't want to be late, so I headed over there. Meet me there, if you aren't already there. Ugh. I knew I was running later than I thought. I need to hurry. The movie's starting soon. Peter! I'm so happy you made it! I do what I can. Hey, Betty. Is Mr. Jameson around? Pete, he just went in his office and he was fuming that you weren't here. Better go see him. He was looking for me? Huh. Hi, Mr. Jameson. I was... What are you doing here? Get down to the sports arena, now! Huh? Quentin Beck has publicly challenged Spider-Man to go and prove he's for real. He's broadcasting on TV right now. I want pictures. At the sports arena. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the event of the century? Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the man we've all been waiting for, that most outrageous of coming men, the unscrupulous, but a simple For those of you just joining us, Hollywood effects expert and Spider-Man critic Quentin Beck has issued a public challenge to the web-slinger. Bob, what do you think? Well, Steve, it's a bold move, no doubt about it. Personally, my money's on Spider-Man. All right, we'll have to see how it plays out. Here comes Quentin Beck now. And now, your MC and host for this evening. You know his legendary work from such films as Cyborg Babysitter and Tears of an Alien Bounty Hunter. A man who has worked tirelessly for the entertainment of all mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce that master of film magic and illusion, that expert of the unknown, the one, the only, Quentin Beck! Thank you for coming, Spider-Man. I knew you couldn't resist. I don't like people building a career off bad mouthing me, Beck. What about that newspaper man, Jameson? JJ? He just has a knack for hiring good photographers. Well, Spider-Man, now that you're here, let's get right to it. Your first challenge will be something you're supposedly quite good at. Rounding up criminals. That's it. All right, whatever. Oh, there's more to it than that. After you collect each criminal, deposit him in one of the three holding pits here. And by the way, you'll only get a point if you use the pit with the green light. I'll be competing against you, and there will be three waves of criminals. If I, with no so-called superpowers, collect more criminals than you in the allotted time, then the world will be able to see clearly what a sham you are. I don't know what happened to make you so delusional, Beck, but bring it on! Well, it looks like they're getting ready to start. According to the press release, the city's Department of Corrections provided the criminals Beck and Spidey will be collecting. Right, Steve. And virtually every one of these convicted criminals is someone Spider-Man helped capture, including one celebrity criminal, Herman Schulz, a.k.a. The Shocker. Well, it should be interesting to see how that affects the results. Oh, it looks like they're starting. Do you like my gadget, Spider-Man? I'm perfecting the technology on the movie, so it gets me death robots. I don't know about your effects, but your education is something special. I call me freak! I mastered this trick on the set of Ninjas of Madness 4, Flaming Ninja. You're really taking it out on the wrong guy. That's all of them. Bad effect. You're very clever, Spider-Man. You obviously have more tricks up your sleeve than I expected. Still, this last challenge will prove who is the better man once and for all. Is that what this is really about, Beck? Proving that you're better than I am? I don't have to answer that. You're the one being tested here, not me. Whoa. 
Sounds like I hit a nerve. This is our last challenge, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen how cleverly Spider-Man can maintain his illusion of heroism, but now, all his supposed skills and abilities will be put to the ultimate test in a one-on-one -on -one challenge against me. Here are the rules, Spider-Man. I have built an obstacle course. You will start here. All you have to do is reach the end of the course, hitting these switches along the way. I, meanwhile, will be manning an electric cannon. If I see you, you can be sure I'm gonna hit you with the cannon. Don't worry, the cannon is non-lethal. But once I hit you three times, the contest is over and I win! That cannon doesn't sound too great, but if I back out now, I'll never live it down. Let's get this over with. Well, I don't know about you, Bob, but from where I sit, things don't seem to be going so well for Quentin Beck. I agree, Steve. He's going to have to do some pretty fancy shooting here if he wants anyone to take his claim seriously. All right, now that you're in position, let's be... You're a... I can't <laughs> believe you just said a good that. hit! As you can see, Spider-Man, I can hit you wherever you are. Stick with the movies. It's obvious reality is way too much for you to handle. Ah, how could he? It isn't fair. He doesn't deserve the spotlight. It just isn't fair. Oh, he can't win. He won't win. That smug bug. Let's see how he likes it when I turn this cannon to maximum power. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? The laser is overheating? Oh, stupid machine! Work! Work! Come on, work! Problems with your laser, Beck? I hear there are pills for that now. Ah, Peter. Welcome. <laughs> Otto and I have been looking forward to seeing you again. You two chat. I'll go check on dinner. Thank you for having me. I don't know how I would manage without Rosie. When you find the woman for you, Peter, don't let her go. <laughs> I digress. Here, let me show you something. Actually, Dr. Octavius, may I ask you something? Hmm? The fusion reactor is brilliant, but how will you control the reaction? Ah, that is the secret, isn't it? I... I'm afraid the lecture will have to be delayed. Dinner is ready. Ah. Well, I'll explain it over dinner, Peter. Shall we? Dr. Octavius' theories are amazing. My head is still spinning from talking to him. Oh, no. Mary Jane's play. If I hurry, I can still make it in time. John Jameson, what are you doing here? Well, there's this beautiful girl in the cast. Did she say Jameson? Someone shoot me now. Stalking girls now? <laughs> well, that's pretty pathetic, don't you think? Or is she on your naughty list, too? Uh, not exactly. What do you care, anyway? No reason. I'm just dropping by to say hi. By the way, remember those guys you beat up the other day in the art gallery? I remember. Well, it turns out there's a whole ring of them. I just happened to find their hideout the other day. I could show you. If you can take a break from the peeping Tom routine, that is. Uh, sure. But I really wasn't spying, you know. You're getting a lot better at following me. I think there may be hope for you yet. Hey, I was just going easy on you before. So, uh, nice night, huh? No need to be nervous. <gasps> What made you come get me? Isn't that what you do? Well, yeah, but... Hey, I can be nice. I don't always bite. Unless you want me to. Come on now. Don't fall behind. I'm 
think someone used a spray on you. You're so tiny. Very funny. Now hang on a second, let me catch up. Do you always take your time like this? Come on, let's go. I'm glad you decided to come. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Maybe so. There they are, as advertised. Get the rest of this stuff in the truck. We gotta get out of here before Spider-Man shows up. Hmm. Nice sculpture. Hey, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Hey, Cat, where'd you learn to fight? Oh! You know, we actually make a pretty good team. Cat? Ugh. She took that statue. I must have Sucker tattooed on my forehead. Why wasn't I watching her? I knew Cat was a thief. Spidey! You the man! Hi, Pete. You're looking a little down. Girl trouble. Huh? Uh... Uh, something like that. Parker! I'm right here, Mr. Jameson. Don't just stand there with your mouth hanging open. Beck is having a news conference, and I need a photographer down there. Another one? But didn't Spider-Man pass his tests? They were rigged! Get down there, now! <laughs> what do you think Beck's got this time? Who knows? He's a little loopy, right? Hollywood types. <laughs> Okay, I'll bite. How did the fishbowl get stuck on your head? Inside, human, you are no match for the power of Mysterio. Mysterio? I think I had a bowl of Mysterios for breakfast. Ah, ah, I'm not going to make it! I'm slipping! I, I'm losing my grip! Those reporters. If I can get them up to that balcony, they should be able to escape. Gotta hurry though, those flying things don't look too friendly. I'm slipping! Liberty. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. If 
he's attacking Lady Liberty, I'd better get over there in a hurry. UFOs? Hidden Fortress? Give me a break. This guy's watching way too much late night TV. Now, how do I get back from here? Hey, buddy. Can you give me a lift? I left my wallet in my other costume. Mysterio's hidden fortress looks just like an apartment. A hidden door concealed by a bookcase? Mysterio, you brilliant fiend! <laughs> well, I guess I'd better check it out. I had no one was around to see that. Where the heck am I? Welcome, Spider-Man! So glad you could drop in! Hey, it's Mysterio. The cliché who walks like a man. Silence! Prepare to meet your end in my... Funhouse of Doom! Funhouse of Doom? I thought you were an alien. Silence! <clears throat> as I was saying, even as we speak, I am watching you from my hidden control room. Perhaps you can find me, if you survive. <laughs> Let's begin now, shall we? Let me introduce you to my friend, Mr. Hoppenhack. Such a cheerful fellow, isn't he? You'll soon discover that he's quite the cut up. Oh, and I thought my jokes were bad. Okay, Mr. Hoppenhack, let's see what you've got. this place. Let me guess, you're trying to make the cover of Super Villain Decorator Monthly. Right, Mysterio? Oh! Oh! Okay. I've been flipped off before, but never quite like that. What is going on? It feels so strange. Everything is upside down. What's going on? Mysterio sure knows how to clown around. Coming at ya! You're doing rather well, aren't you? Still, your run of luck can't last forever. How much longer before my traps bring you down, Spider-Man? The only thing bringing me down is your crummy attitude, sourpuss. Back 
to normal at last. Huh. Looks like that chute is my only way down. Ready or not, Mysterio, here I come. <laughs> I think I've lost some weight. Okay, fun time is over. I need to figure out how to get out of here so I can find Mysterio and knock some sense into that domed head of his. What was that? Now, prepare to be the most dangerous adversary. Yourself. Now you will meet your doom. You wear pointy ears to sci-fi conventions. Looks like I found the exit. Finally. A hologram. Why should I be surprised? You may have foiled my plans this time, Spider-Man, but I'll be back. I promise you that. <laughs> uh-huh. Heard it before. About a million times. I'm finally out of that crazy place. If I never see another carnival as long as I live, it'll be too soon. I wonder where Mysterio got to. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. You are all about to witness the dawning of a new age. The power of a sun is now ours. alarmed about. What? Get out of here, you maniac! Rosie! No! Oh, I have to hurry. The containment field looks like it's buckling. I don't have time for subtlety. I just have to smash these power terminals until the reactor shuts down. Almost got it. Only one terminal left. The field is releasing plasma more and more quickly. I have to hurry. Well, the city didn't get blown up. Poor Rosie. Huh. Dr. Octavius hey. must be devastated. Kurt. Help me. Otto? Are you all right? I, I heard on the news that... I... killed them. All right, Otto. Just calm down. Let's call the police. Police? No! No police! Those tentacles. Otto, we need to get you help. You're obviously not well. Get away from me, you traitor. What? 
Yeah. He wants to turn me into the police. Is this how you would pay my friendship? Hmm. Yes, of course. That murderous arachnid Spider-Man. He killed Rosie. Destroyed my life's work in an instant. I'll rebuild it, though, and kill him. It shouldn't have been like this. You're right. If I am a criminal, then I will have to act as a criminal to do what I must. I need money. Need to rebuild. For Rosie. Dr. Connors, I'm sorry I'm... Dr. Connors! Otto... No! Uh, Otto? What the heck did he mean by that? Dr. Connors was pretty beat up, but I think he'll be all right now. I need to figure out what happened to him, but I don't have any leads. I should drop by the Daily Bugle. Maybe I can pick hey, up a lead there. I'm walking here. Or at least earn enough to pay my electric bill. Hi, Betty. Any chance I can get in to talk to Mr. Jameson? Hey, Pete. He's in a meeting with Robbie, but it's nothing important. Go ahead, in. Octavius! Four extra arms. Dr. Octopus! It's like he was asking for it. Page one, Robbie. Dr. Octopus rampages. Got it, Jonah. What are you talking about? Oh, Parker. That Fruit Loop physicist went nuts, killed the doctors who were working on him, and ran out of the hospital. Killed them? That can't be. It's true, Pete. All right, get out of my office. This is a newspaper, not a knitting circle. Dr. Octavius is a killer. Is it my fault? Aunt May, I'm sorry I'm late. Peter, don't be sorry. I was just worried about you. Thank you for taking the time to help me. It's no problem, Aunt May. Let's go in. Now about your loan, Mrs. Parker. Oh no! I gotta get away! Run! Ladies and gentlemen, I am making a withdrawal. Kindly remain calm and silent so that we can avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Peter, where are you going? Your boy is quite the hero. Stop right there, Dr. Octavian. Please don't make me fight you. Spider-Man. What an unpleasant surprise. Still, not one for which I am wholly unprepared. All right. Get him. Right, boss. You got it, Doc. Well, listen to reason. He still has those tentacles. Oh, why are you with you? I don't have time to bother with you. You interfere with me at that old woman's peril. No! Spider-Man! Don't hurt her! Leave her alone! Out of my way! Say goodnight, Gracie! more for your life than he did for Rosie's.
about Octavius's attacks, but somehow I just didn't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to introduce you all to Miss Mary Jane Watson. Mary Jane has just agreed to marry me, and I couldn't wait to share my happiness with everyone. Uh, so what's the hunk's superpower? Throw a football on the moon. Uh-huh. Red is easily impressed, isn't she? Shouldn't you try to find somebody more your speed? Just what I needed. Love advice from a thief. Are you still sore about that statue? I gave it to the cops already. I was just having some fun with you. You look kind of cute, trying to figure out what happened back at that warehouse. Anyway, my original point was, why are you still bothering with a normal girl? Normal is boring. Normal is half my life. At least it's supposed to be. Why? I mean, seriously. Why settle for being some schmo when you can be a superstar? Well... Forget it. I was gonna tell you about Shocker, but you're obviously busy sulking. Shocker? What about him? Oh, just that he broke out of prison a little while back and he's back in the city. I was gonna show you where he's hiding out, but... Show me. <laughs> That's the spirit? Trust me, kicking his heavily padded butt will make you feel better. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's go. So, how did you find Shocker? Well, apparently he escaped during your little event with Quentin Beck. Seriously? I knew I should have kept a better eye on that guy. Still, I was a little distracted at the time. Spider-Man! I don't know how you found me, but there's no way you're getting me this time. Hey, Shocker. You look different somehow. Have you been reupholstered? Huh. <laughs> Still a comedian, huh? Come on, Spider. Let's take this guy out. <laughs> Still slow and dumb, I see. I've been meaning to ask, how's your absorbency compared with the leading brand? How's the tire mascot tank working out? Come on, Shocker! At least make an effort! Careful, Cat. You'll hurt his feelings. You deal with Shocker. I'll take care of the two. Get this party started. I've been meaning to ask, How's your absorbency compared with the leading brand? Out of us! Okay? Oh, yeah. He just caught me off guard. I'll be ready for him next time. Uh, listen, I gotta get going. I have some things I need to do. See ya. I hope Cat is okay. I'll have to check on Cat later. Great timing. Jonah was just yelling for you. Go on in. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. You were looking for me, Mr. Jameson? Parker! Where were you 15 minutes ago? There's a Latvian diplomat coming into the city by helicopter. He's landing any moment, and I need a photo. Now get over there like your job depended on it. Got it, Mr. Jameson. Alien invaders holding up a convenience store. This I have to see. Make no 
sudden movements are free. I require large amounts of your currency. Sure, space dude, whatever you say, just don't disintegrate me or whatever. How low the mighty have fallen. You dare to challenge the infinite light of Mysterio? I will destroy you utterly. You will bear witness to the majesty and glory of my power. Prepare to die. You have trifled with my... That was sick, dude! You rock so hard, Spidey! No, oh, uh, I, I give up. Don't, don't hit me again. Quentin Beck, I presume. Say cheese! Great! Now to get these photos to the bugle. Look, it's Spider-Man! I have to see Jonah. I have pictures of Spider-Man for him. Okay, Pete. Go on in. Parker, what do you want? I have some photos you might want to see. Remember Quentin Beck? Turns out, he was Mysterio. So, Beck and Spider-Man weren't cahoots all along. How can you look at those pictures and say that? I don't have time for your moral outrage, Parker. I'm trying to run a paper here and make sure my son's wedding to Jean Marie doesn't bankrupt me. Her name is Mary Jane. Yeah, right, right. I'll give you 200 for the lot. You can collect your money on your way out. Pete, you know I can't just stop and chat. I can't believe that. Jameson would frame his own mother if he thought it would sell papers. What did I ever do to Jameson? What could he possibly have against me? Need a hand? Don't hurt me! Wait, I'm trying to help. Uh, I'm so sick of everyone hating me. I'm going to go give the Bugles' esteemed publisher a piece of my mind. He's messed up my reputation long enough. Where's the fire? I don't have time to talk. I need to have a word with the publisher of the Daily Bugle. Whoa there, mighty one. Take a deep breath. That paper has turned half the city against me. I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> well, I'm sure that bursting into the Bugle offices and yelling will clear everything up. All I'm saying is, you may want to calm down. <sighs> you seriously need to loosen up. Have more fun! You're a superhero. You, you swing through New York City in brightly colored tights. I like my costume. The point is, here you are. Powers far beyond those of mortal men. And you're pouting on a rooftop. What's up with that? <laughs> I guess you're right. What did you have in mind? Well, I did find Shocker again. And <laughs> I'm dying for some payback. Sounds good. <laughs> All right! Showtime, baby. I'm surprised that you found Shocker again. I thought he would be smart. Yep, I'm on it. I think I'd be better at following her by now. Whoa, this is an old Oscorp research lab. Shock's moving up in the world. Yeah, uh, some kind of space propulsion thing. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm gonna find another way in. I'll meet you inside. About time you losers got here. 
I must have told every low life in New York where to find me. <laughs> <sighs> a trap? Don't take it too hard, Cat. Shocker's a crafty one. No? Wait, I'm thinking of someone else. Get ready. Here comes the pain. I hate it when he says that. Spider, keep him busy. I'm gonna find some way to shut down that force field. Okay, I got it. I was right. Look at that shield go down. Let's go teach Shocker a lesson. Right, Spider? Careful, Cat. Still dangerous. It looks like you just got out of traction. Shocker is still a boring name. What about Jack O'Hanna? This guy gave you trouble, Spider? Yeah, well, I was young. Still about as subtle as a train wreck, aren't you? You just got out of traction. Funny, cause that's just where you're going. Was that as good for you as it was for me? I have to admit, you were right. I feel much better. You see? I told you, baby. Stick with me and you'll be fine. Come see me next time you're feeling down, all right? I'll see you around. She's pretty amazing, don't you think, Shock? <sighs> I think my career has just hit a new low. Ah, uh, who cares what you think? If only all my problems could be settled with flashy climactic battles. Mary Jane's play. Maybe I can make it tonight. I can't believe I missed it again. Good night, guys. See y'all tomorrow. What's up, Garly? Give me your money. Leave me alone! Okay. Yeah. Great timing. What are you doing here? You know me. Always hanging around. I'm getting married. I don't know if you heard. Oh, really? What's he like? He's... there. He loves me. And he's there. I see. I, um, I, I have to get back to my patrol. See you around. Yeah, next time a bunch of thugs try to jump me. It's a date. Can't I just tell MJ the truth? I can't believe she's getting married and I'm just waving from the sidelines. <sighs> Was I supposed to meet Kat this evening? I guess I should go. Hey, what took you so long? Running late seems to be part of my idiom. You work too hard. Ditch the mild-mannered civilian routine. This life is so much more fun. Look at me. Sure, I can play hero if I want. But if I don't feel like it... Hmm? Give it a try. Take the weight of the world off your shoulders. You don't understand. You don't know why I do this. What? 
Parents got killed by a mugger, abducted by aliens, sold you to the circus. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whatever the reasons, you can't change the past. What's done is done. You have to live for the present. Hippie. <laughs> All right, fine. Don't cheer up. All I'm saying is, you're gonna get an ulcer or something. I suppose, as usual, that you have the perfect thing to take my mind off my problems. Well, now that you mention it, there is a little something I know about. You know that warehouse on the west side near the convention center? Something big is going down. I'll race you there. All right, Moonbeam. You're on. Let's go. Move that cute little butt of yours. You don't want to miss this. I'm just getting warmed up. You used to be fast, Cat. What happened? I'm just giving you a handicap, Spider. This is supposed to be a race. You should at least try to compete. I figured you needed a head start. Want me to slow down, Cat? What's the matter, Spider? Too fast for you? Oh, another stunning win for Black Cat. Not that you're bragging or anything, right? All right, let's get going. Supposedly, whatever they're selling is a pretty big deal. All right, people, you all know why you're here. Let's start the bidding. I'll bid a shiny nickel and a kick in the head. Waste them! Looks like interference showed up. drop on them <laughs> it was more fun my way that's totally irresponsible what are you so upset about we won well excuse me for trying to get you to enjoy yourself for once is cat right am i just torturing myself do i really have to give up peter parker to be spider-man what about the people in my life how would they feel? It isn't like anyone ever sees me now. MJ. Harry. Aunt May. No matter how hard it is, I can't abandon my friends. So, what, do I quit being Spider-Man? No, I can't quit either. I help so many people. I can't give up being Peter Parker, but I can't give up being Spider-Man either. Spidey, Maybe I can the balance the two. I should track down Black Cat. I need to have a talk with her. I was wondering if you were going to show up. We need to talk. Um? Okay. Talk then. I don't think I can see you anymore. <laughs> Hysterical blindness? What? Oh, <laughs> nothing like that. I just finally realized something. I'm not like you. 
I can't live the life that you do. My powers came with a responsibility and I need the balance of a normal life. Being Spider-Man is who I am, but being just me, that's who I am too. <laughs> Let's skip ahead to the part where you ask if we can still be friends. Can we still be friends? <laughs> Don't sound so dejected. Once I cross your path, I'm not so easy to get rid of. Go. <laughs> Find your girl. That's what you want to do, right? You finally started listening to me. You're doing what you want. I... Thanks, Kat. See you around. I can do it. I can balance both. Maybe it isn't too late. Maybe I can be Spider-Man and still be with MJ. Peter. MJ, there's something I have to tell you. I know I haven't always been there. It feels like I've been going in two directions at once. I just figured everything out, though. I know what I want to do. I know who I want to be, and I know who I want to be with. I want to be with you. Peter. I'm getting married to John. I can't, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Peter. Good night. What was I thinking? I must have looked totally crazy. Things could never work out. What about the danger? I must have been out of my mind to ask her. I should just keep away from her. At least she still has Harry. Who's there? Hello, Harry. So nice to see you again. Octavius! Glad to see you still remember me. Now, I have a problem, and you seem to be the only one who can solve it for me. Oh, tritium! <laughs> you need tritium! Right, boy. Very good. Make a deal. We, we want the same thing. Oh? And what would that be? <laughs> Spider-Man. Please, elucidate for me. You hate Spider-Man as much as I do. Both of us have lost someone we love because of him. If you bring him to me, alive, the tritium is yours. We have a bargain. Now, how to catch the freak? Go find Peter Parker. He takes pictures of that bug for the bugle. He'll know where to find him. Don't hurt him, though! Harry's been a much better friend than I'll ever be. I'm no good for MJ anyway. She's better off with what's his name. Hi, Peter. I've been thinking about what you said, and I think we need to talk. Meet me at the diner we used to go to all the time. Well, I guess she's still talking to me at least. I'll get to apologize for being a jerk after all. I've been thinking about what you said the other night. Watch out! Ah, Parker. Pass a message along for me. If you ever want to see this girl alive again, tell your photogenic arachnid friend that he will meet me alone at the Enric Towers, 3 o'clock this afternoon. 
Okay, Doc. I'm here. Where is she? Oh, she's safe. For now. Why don't you come and get her? No more stops between here and the end of the line. Everyone on board will be killed. I have business with your savior. <laughs> you did it! Of course. And not to conclude our business. I have the tritium in here. A pleasure doing business with you one final time, Osborne. I leave you to your business and go to tend my own. Before I kill you, I want to see who you are. Peter? How can you be Spider-Man? Spider-Man killed my dad. My, my dad loved you like a son. Like a son. Harry, we don't have time for this. Octavius has MJ. You have to tell me where he is. I have to save her. Mary Jane. Octavius. He has a lab that he set up on an abandoned pier. She's probably there. We'll talk later, Harry. I promise. MJ, I'll get you out of here. None of your cheap theatrics today, Cretan. I see Osborne was too weak stomach to kill you. No matter, I'll take great pleasure in rending you limb from limb myself. Parker, you've been sabotaging me all along. You killed my Rosie. I'm going to kill the woman you love, and then I'm going to kill you. No one else is going to die. This ends now. Indeed it does. That's one, but how many of these things does he have scattered around this place?
That should do it. Wait a second. The reactor. The energy field is super concentrating. I think I'm in trouble. Why didn't that work? I switched everything off just like last time. It just isn't fair. No. My shield. No more shield, huh? That sounds like my cue. Done. What have I done? Dr. Octavius, we have to stop that reactor before it's too late. This is bad. There's only one thing to do. Get the young lady out. I'm sorry, Peter. You weren't to blame for the accident. My hubris, my vanity cost Rosie her life. Now I must set things right. Sorry I didn't tell you, MJ. I wanted to. I even tried a couple of times, but... I think a part of me always knew. Now you see why I can't be with you. It wouldn't be fair to you. I was selfish to ask you. You should marry John. Peter. Come on in. It's open. Expecting someone? MJ, you're supposed to be getting married. You... I made a decision. This involves both of us, Peter. And you need to trust me to make my own choice. I know who you are. I know the life I'm choosing. And I want to be with you. That's the way it is. Deal. Go get him, Tiger. Mary Jane. The girl next door. The girl I love. And now the girl waiting for me at the end of the day. Fate handed me amazing powers. And with those powers came a burden of responsibility. Somehow, though, having her with me makes that burden lighter. Still, in the end, it's mine to bear. After all, there's still only one. Spider-Man.